What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video, and comment down below. Yeah, today we're going to continue Black History Month. Um, I missed a couple of days, but I'm, I'm going to do one today. We're going to talk about George Franklin Grant. He was the inventor of the golf tee. Let's see what we're talking about. George Franklin Grant, September the 15th, 1846 to August the 21st, 1910, was the first African-American professor uh, at Howard. He was also a Boston dentist and an inventor of an early golf tee made from wood and natural rubber. Hmm. See how this is going to turn out. Sounds interesting. Here go a picture of the. Here is a picture of the golf tee. I don't know if y'all be able to see it. Golf tee. Let me see. Let me see. Anyway, you get what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have a picture of it. Um, I'm gonna show a clip in it in the um, in the video. Grant was born on September the 15th, 1846 in New York to Phyllis Pitt and Eleanor Grant. He entered the Harvard School of Dentist Cosmetics in 1868 and graduated in 1870. He then took a position in the Department of Mechanical Dentistry in 1871, making him Howard University's first African-American facility member. Grant was a founding member and later the president of the Harvard, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's see, oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, allergical. It's O D O N T O L O G I C A L Society. Don't ask what it is, I don't know. And was a member of the Howard Dental Alumni Association, where he was elected president in 1881. In 1899, he impressed on, improved on Perry Ellis. Perfectum T. Grant died on August the 21st, 1910 at his vacation home in Chester, New Hampshire of liver disease. Hmm. That's why you got to get, you got to be more careful. You got to, you got to be to the point where uh, you can, uh, you got to know your health. You got to know your health. I, got, I, just, I can't say that enough. Yeah, let's see what else he got going on here. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? What? Prior to the invention of the wooden tee at the turn of the 19th century, golfers made tees out of sand. Courses would, would supply each hole with a box of wet sand from which the golfer would fashion a raised mount mound using either his hands or a cone-shaped mold. In 1999, Boston dentist Dr. George Grant frustrated with this tedious and messy process invented a wooden golf tee. Man, this is a little bit more insight of what's going on. Let me see. Dr. Grant was born in Born to escape slaves in 1846, eventually found work as an assistant at a dentist's office. The position allowed him to gain the experience necessary to attend and eventually become the second African American to graduate from Harvard Dental School. Later, he served as the first African American, American professor at Howard following his professor professorship 
Dr. Grant opened a successful dent dental practice and became widely respected for his work repairing cliff plates. But his recreation passion for, was golf, which he played in a meadow in a meadow near his home in Arlington, Massachusetts. Even though the patient for no, even though the patent for his tea issued in December 12, 1899, was the first in the country. Dr. Grant never capitalized on his invention. Instead, he had prototypes made of his own personal use and handed them out to family and friends. Smart. It wasn't until William Lowell, another dentist, invented the ready tea in the early 1920s that using a wooden tea became common practice. Those other designs from the early 1900s never grew as popular as ready tea. But each tea displayed in, his, in this case is an example of the creative solution golfers propose to, be every, to the everyday problems they face while teeing off. Well, hmm. now that is very interesting. Now, this man can make a tea, golf tea. Not capitalize on none of the stuff that he had coming to him, but he would make his own little prototypes and give them away to family and friends. And that's, that's, to me, that's more than just making money for it. He, had, he knew what he wanted. And then this ready tea comes out with the same thing, maybe a little bit more better. And, you know, pretty sure he capitalized on his. I mean, it's just something to think about. Well, just the end of my video. Hope you learned something about golf tea. If not, I hope you learned something about golf teas. I didn't know nothing about golf teas. I didn't know nothing about the. I ain't know this man from Adam. Okay, I hit. I go by. I go through these uh, so many inventions, Black History event, inventors. I pick up stuff that's unique, odd, uh, and people ain't never talked about. So, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video, and comment down below. Remember, you are too. Too blessed to be stressed. Okay, don't stress. You little key set. Love and happiness at all times. Love somebody. Say I love you. It don't hurt. Me ain't can say I love you to another man. Hey, that don't mean he gay. That just means he's showing compassion. Anyway, hug somebody and tell them you love them. Always hug somebody. I don't care who it is. Hug your dog. If you got a dog, hug your dog. Got a cat, hug your cat. Snakes, whatever. Whatever your passion is, you hug something. Tell them that you love them. I always do a random act of kindness. I'm not going to preach to y'all about a random act of kindness, but my video is coming out on a random act of kindness. It's coming. It's going to step on somebody's toes. You know what I mean. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.